What's up everybody out here for another adventure with the South Shore Angler Fishing. Heading back in right now. Just got uh got good news that my trolling motor was just uh delivered to the house. So I'm about to go do some alterations to the yak. I'm gonna figure out how to drop my trolling motor in here so I could steer it like that instead of using the pedals, which will be pretty cool. Hopefully I'll be out on the water doing that tomorrow. So yeah, I'm back here in my uh, back bay estuaries by my house. Never really fished this area much. So I said, let me give it a shot. It's close to home. So yeah, I probed around. I was using I was using a uh, yellow and white bucktails and red and white, as you can see. Also, I was using um some uh pink bronzes as teasers up top as you'll see in the video i hit a few fish on those i was trying to target some weak fish that's why i had the pink out didn't get to hit any did hit some fluke on it which was pretty cool uh got one keeper for the day a few short fish in the 15 16 17 inch range but did land 120 inch fish which is pretty good it's nothing like hitting them on the bucktail uh totally different hit totally different fight when they do strike it uh a lot of fun man a lot of fun what you want to do and always remember when you are bucktailing or just fluking in general the strike zone is at the bottom anywhere from the bottom to two feet up even three feet up those flukers swim they'll swim up and hit it so yeah you want to make sure you're in constant contact with the bottom make sure you got a good drift today i had pretty much i had a good drift i had a north wind blowing at me so i had to kind of pedal against the wind a little bit but i was still able to to get my drift going to land some fish which was pretty cool it's always wonderful fishing in a new area that you never really fish and you hit some fish you know so i hope everybody enjoys the video if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button and remember stay tuned we out here going fish locally Gonna play the little estuary behind my house. See if we can hit any solid fish hiding out. See what happens. Fluky, hit the, hit the Ron Z. I got the Ron Z on just in case come across any weak fish. Pink Ron Z. First fluke of the morning. Doing some back bay buck. Nice fluky. Nice fluke. I don't think I don't think he's a keeper, but definitely a nice fish. He hit him real hard. Nice fish. Let's get a quick measurement. Shut up, buddy. Let's get a quick measure just to check him out. 
Oh, he is a keeper. Oh, nice 20 inch fish. He'll be going home. He will be going home. He will be going home. Twenty inch fish. First keep of the season. First keep of the season. We'll keep this guy. My wife likes to eat the fluke. I really don't keep too many species of fish, but fluke. That is a species that I do keep for the family. They like to eat it. All right, so current is drifting me this way, but the wind is blowing at me. So that's why you might see me pedaling steady just to try to stay on the same course. So I don't get pushed back. I want to stay in the same line. Hit that one Z. Hit that one Z. I've been getting hit on this all morning. And I've been getting hit on it all morning. And they kept missing the hook. Let me get release this fish. I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So I kept getting hits on the on the Ron Z, and uh, I had it hooked through the regular right here, and I had all of this hanging, and I kept missing them on the hooks that they weren't getting down. So. I actually weave the hook all the way through so it's pretty much at the tail end of it so as you can see the hook up ratio should be better He's short, a little shorty. Get him back.
some more, bro. Let's kill him up. Another guy. A red and white bucktail. Did the job. 